Welcome in. Welcome to Femboy Mental Health Services, where we provide a variety of services regarding your well-being. Of course, our entire staff consists of femboys, but I believe that's part of our charm. I think it helps calm down our patients, too, to be consulted by one of our caring employees. Is it safe to assume you were the one who scheduled an appointment yesterday for this time? Great. You're right on time. So it does appear all of our staff is currently busy with other patients, so I'll be the one working with you today. If you'll follow me, I'll take you to a private room so you feel more calm and safe. Is this your first visit with us? Well, I hope we're able to help you out today. We take a lot of pride in what we do, and we wish nothing but the best for all of our patients. Alright, go ahead and have a seat, and I'll get you checked in. So, we'll start with the basics. What is your first and last name? And what is your age? And what would you say is your height? Okay, let's get into why we're here. Based on when you scheduled today's appointment, you said you were feeling stressed. Is that correct? Is there any specific reason behind the stress? Or is it one of those, you don't know why exactly you are, but you just are type of deals? Okay. We don't need reasons to feel any kind of negative emotions. Sometimes they just happen. And yes, I know it's not fun. It's okay. We're here for you. We're gonna take that stress, and we're gonna give it the Mike Tyson peekaboo bop. <laughs> Another thing I want to ask you is, if you experience any panic or anxiety attacks out of nowhere. Alright. So, let's take a look at your life to see if we can isolate any factors that can be contributing to your stress. Would you say you have a heavy workload that doesn't allow you to rest much? Or would you say it's on the lighter side? And whether it be a job or school, do you enjoy what you do? Okay. And how would you rate your relationship with your family on a scale of 10? Okay. How about friends? Would you say you have a lot? A little? Distant ones? close ones, or none at all. Personally, I don't think having a high quantity of friends is important. I think having one to three people that are close to you is plenty. The last thing I'll ask is if there have been any major events that have happened in the past year that could have impacted your well-being. Okay. Alright. That's everything I'll ask you. I promise. I just needed to get some of that information from you, so I can better understand you, and possibly find things hurting you. But you know what? Forget all of it. Everything we just discussed doesn't matter for the next few minutes. I know talking about it can sometimes make you more stressed, so again, I do apologize. So right now, hit the delete button on all of it, and relax with me. Don't worry, we can hit Control z later to bring all of it back. For now, relax your body. Relax. We are in a safe space. You are in a comfy seat. And you have a thin boy here to comfort you. <laughs> Let's get some of that negative energy out of you. Follow what I do. Breathe in. 
Hold it for a second. And breathe out. Again. Breathe in. Hold it. Hold it. And out. Feel your body loosen up as you exhale. We'll do it one more time, cutie. Breathe in. And out. See how nice that feels? Whenever you feel stressed, or if you feel a panic attack starting, take a few moments to sit or lay down and do these breathing exercises. I know it's something that's really helped me out. Also, let's do the fattest stretch you've ever done. So put your arms up and... <sighs> Big stretch. It feels nice. Sometimes these simple things that seem kind of silly actually can help out a lot. Another thing that can help that isn't exactly easy to obtain is physical attention. Things like hugs, cuddles, massages can really help. So if you don't mind, I'm more than happy to provide some for you. Well, probably not the whole cuddling stuff since I am your doctor at the moment. But some nice head rubs and scratchies is definitely within my range. I know life can be difficult sometimes. Trust me, I know. It's okay. Everything's okay right now. I don't remember who said it. But someone said life is either a curse or a blessing, and it's up to us to determine which one it is. We just gotta make the most of it. Find things you enjoy to do. If you don't have anything you enjoy, then go out and explore and experiment. Everything starts somewhere. You might not even realize your favorite band is out there and you just haven't listened to them yet. Hell, maybe you might be the best basketball player in the world, and you've just never tried it out. I know it's easier said than done. It's scary to get yourself out there, but sometimes all we need is a little push to get started, and I'm more than willing to provide that push. Heck, even start making online content. Who knows, maybe you'll become the next big thing. But don't be discouraged by anything if you aren't good at it right away. It took me years to grow in many of my areas. Don't tell anyone, but I actually make content online. And it took me a long time to get to where I am now. I've abandoned previous channels that I dumped a lot of time into. And it hurt me when they didn't work out. But I didn't give up. I wanted to, but I didn't. And now I'm at the best spot I've ever been. I'm glad I kept pushing myself, but I'm also thankful for everyone that watches me and supports me. I can't believe I have this amazing community. Things like that are waiting for you in the world. Live your wildest dreams. I beg you to reach for them. Sorry, I kind of rambled a lot there. I think you get the point though. So I'll leave it at that. I hope you got to relax a bit for those few minutes. Now, remember how we deleted everything from your mind earlier? Let's go ahead and hit Control-Z and bring them back. 
while they are negative feelings, they are still a part of you and are important to help you grow. Now, we don't want them 24-7, not at all, but it will be part of what shapes you. Now, breathe in and out. Everything is okay. Go your own pace. Don't feel pressured by anything. Breathe in. And out. You will do wonderful in life. I believe in you. There are people you can trust. If you don't think you have anyone you can trust at the moment, then remember what I said earlier. Life is all about discovering. That person is out there. You just need to find them. And of course, you can always fall back on your reliable femboy psychiatrist. I will always embrace you with open arms. Now, one last time. Breathe in. And out. I hope your stay was a pleasant experience. Please feel free to contact us for anything you may need. Don't feel scared to come in or seek help. Now, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And you know what? Go out and treat yourself. Go get that milkshake you've been wanting. Enjoy the little things. <laughs> I'll see you around.